the Bohr correspondence principle is, uh, is a principle that says that since we know classical mechanics works, okay, in certain situations, then in those cases where we know that classical mechanics is just fine for describing our system, then quantum mechanics should make this exact, pretty much the, the same conclusion as the as classical mechanics. Okay, so Bohr correspondence principle says quantum mechanics must be consistent with classical mechanics in those cases where we know that classical mechanics is valid. And we're, when we're dealing, for example, with the movement of gas molecules in a box, in a big box, like a helium atom in a one meter box, that can be adequately described by classical mechanics. So quantum mechanics should make essentially the same prediction. It's equally probable, the probability of finding the particle within that box is going to be constant, more or less constant. Okay? So, and when, so you can, you've seen here that quantum mechanics agrees with classical mechanics when you're dealing with very large L, okay? And that will also happen with very large M. Why? Because remember your expression, H squared over 8M L squared times 2N plus 1 is equal to your delta E, okay? When your M is very large, the gaps between allowed energy levels are going to be small. You can say then that your energies are essentially continuous, okay? Even though energy is still quantized, the, a lot, the difference between adjacent energy levels is so small that for practical purposes it doesn't matter. Same thing with if you have a very large N. So anytime your particle is less constrained, the less constraint you put on your particle, then the more classical mechanics tends to be valid. Okay? Now, uh, this first bullet right here just gives you a review of what the classical mechanical description is of a free particle. If you have a free particle, I mean a particle in a box, if your box the potential energy is zero inside the box. What does that mean? It's constant. There is no force acting on the particle. It's just going to be moving back and forth, back and forth from wall to wall at constant speed. Okay, so there's no net force. Then it's going to be, there's going to be equal probability of finding the particle everywhere in the box. 